So one way to look at monomials is to um, see them as products of, of variables and um, prime numbers. So I'm going to kind of take you way back to when you did those factor trees, maybe. Have you ever seen those where maybe you take the number 4 and 2 times 2 is 4, so you'd, you'd look at it like that. And 2 is a prime number, so you can't really go any farther with that. Maybe if you were to factor 8, you know, 4 times 2 is 8. Uh, 2 is prime, so that's as far as that goes. But 4 is not prime, so you can break, break that up. So you could rewrite 8 as the factor of of 2 and 2 and 2, like that. And I want to do the same thing with these monomials. So a monomial is a, is a constant or a variable or um, any combination of constants and variables being multiplied together. And to, to sort of show that, we can just break these up use, using prime factorization like this. So, you know, f this monomial, simple, just 2 times 2 is 4. Okay, nothing fancy there. Now, uh, this monomial, so we could write that as 2 times 2. Now, this one, um, 2 times 2 is 4. Oops, it's disappearing on me. Um, and then, t to get this whole thing to be 4x, to be <coughs> 2 times 2 times x. And then, you know, just getting a little bit more complicated here. It's 4 is 2 times 2. Um, x squared would be the same as x times x. So um, this monomial you could rewrite as the product of 2 and 2 and x and x. Okay, that's multiplying. Um, it, this one's getting kind of fancy. I threw that in there just to challenge you a little bit. Um, so 20, okay, let's, let me just rewrite this whole thing over here. Okay, so we're going to factor this all the way down so we have prime numbers or um, variables with an exponent of 1. So 20 um, we could write as 4 times 5. 5 is a prime number, can't be divided any further, and 4 would be 2 times 2. And then x to the fourth is the same thing as x times x times x times x. And then y squared is y, y. So y times y. So really, this this monomial 20 um, x to the fourth y to the, y to the second, we could rewrite as 5 times 4. Sorry, 5 times 2 times 2 times x times x times x times x times y times y. Now, you know, I don't know why you would want to write it like that. It's really nice to write it simply like this. But if you understand that what this is really saying is this, I think you'll have a better concept of what a, a monomial is.